Bruno Mars at Isle of Wight Radio. Good morning. Uh, it is Wednesday morning and it's time for us to play today's headline or hearsay. Uh, we are now live on Facebook. Uh, hello. <laughs> hello. Hello, everyone. Uh, right, OK, so uh, this is the way it worked. Monday, we won, Haley and I. We did. Tuesday, yesterday, basically, we gave it to Jamie. We let we? him win. Yeah. <laughs> we let him win. Uh, but we're not going to be quite quite as easy no. with Charlotte this morning. Oh, thanks. Well, she's, because she's because you're good at this. You're quite tough love. anyway. Well, Jamie just gets a little bit, you know, narky, doesn't he? It's the <laughs> it's grin. Just, when, it's, when, he, when you go to give the wrong answer, he sort of smiles and you think, flip it. Yeah. <laughs> flip it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, technique, I like yes. it. Okay. Well, thanks for giving that away. We'll go with the other option. Right, okay. Right. Are we ready? Here we go. Headline or hearsay for a Wednesday morning. <laughs> After years of campaigning by feminists, Burger King is bowing down to pressure and welcoming a new range to be more inclusive. In March next year, it'll launch a new Burger Queen range in a bid to win over some female customers after too many adverts of only men tugging into the biggest meals. The new range will replace chunky fries with curvy ones on the menu. Women are welcoming the move, but critics say it's merely a money-making decision. Is that headline or hearsay? You see, I was thinking that that was real until the point of the curvy fries. Yeah. How are you going to do that? Well, why would you want to do that? Does anyone think, oh, curvy fry? I like curly fries. <laughs> <laughs> so, is it headline or hearsay? That is the question this morning. I love Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> I could be the face of the women's Burger King advert. You could be the I Burger could be the Queen. One on the advert, yeah, tucking into the burger. The Whopper. The big Whopper. <laughs> Emma says, uh, it's got to be hearsay, surely. Gemma Willis uh, says hearsay. Louise says hearsay. Uh, Sue says hearsay. David says hearsay this morning. Uh, the general consensus seems to be hearsay. Uh, Hayley White says headline. Emma Lawrence says hearsay. Brent says hearsay. By the way, it's Brent's birthday. Happy Aww. birthday, Happy Brent. birthday Brent. Brent. Uh, have yourself a lovely day. Uh, so, well, are we going to go with Brent as it's his birthday? Yeah, let's do that. OK, we're going to go with a hearsay. Hearsay. OK, we're going... Uh, Corin says hearsay as well. So, for Brent and his birthday... It's hearsay. Uh, yes. yes. Hold on, I've got to press mm. my button. There we go. Uh, so... <laughs> Smooth. Literally, yeah. <laughs> You'd hardly notice, <laughs> would you? It's, it's multitasking, that's the problem. Uh, right, so one to us, one. yeah? A man managed to meet his favourite band backstage thanks to a quick edit on Wikipedia. After a gig, the fan went towards the VIP area where he was stopped by security. He told them he was a stepbrother of a band member. Prove it, said the guard, so the fan showed in the band's Wikipedia page and pointed out his name, which he'd only added a few minutes before. He introduced himself to the band, who instead of being angry, was so impressed they invited him for some drinks and later talked about the story on Twitter. Is that headline or hearsay? I hope that's headline. I think that is brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, quick thinking. No, that's the kind of thing you would do, Hayley. Yeah. <laughs> I'd get invited in. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't need to change anything. It's like, Hayley, come through. <laughs> uh, Karen thinks it's a headline this morning. Uh, who else? Uh, Keith thinks it's headline. What are we thinking then? Are we going headline or hearsay this morning? I uh, think that could definitely happen. Dan says hearsay. Shannon Lumley says headline. Charlotte Ellis says headline. Emma Lawrence says headline. Emma Elliott says headline. Molly Chandler says headline. Jean Newnham says headline this morning. Corin uh, says headline as well. Uh, Hayley White thinks it's headline. I think headline. It's got to be true and it's absolute genius. Let's go. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, we're going headline. Is it headline? Oh, it's a headline. Yeah. Oh, doing very well. Final I? one, just for fun now. <laughs> has been disqualified for not concentrating enough after allowing a goal scored by a fan from the stands. The fan was wearing the shirt of his favourite player who, after hearing him shouting advice, allowed the fan to take the team's all-important penalty. But the referee had been at the other side of the pitch giving a yellow card when it happened and didn't notice the striker was almost two foot shorter. The bystander's <laughs> goal was met with a mixture of applause and laughter to the confusion of the ref. For the remainder of the, the North West Counties League Premier, v Premier Division match... A sub-referee took his place. 
That was a mouthful. Yeah. Hmm. So do we do we think that the uh, that would be hilarious, wouldn't it? It would be funny. Be very funny. Keith thinks it's a headline. Karen Eel says hearsay this morning. Uh, so he was two foot shorter. You see, what 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 division was it? It was the Northwest Counties League Premier Division, which is Charlotte, one you're very familiar with, Paul. Yeah, Charlotte Ellis says hearsay. Corin says hearsay. Emma Elliott headline. Sue Terry says headline. David Harry says hearsay. Uh, Louise Flood says hearsay. Hayley White says headline. Uh, Jean Newnham says headline. Emma Lawrence says hearsay. Oh, oh, it's a real mix, isn't it? Gemma Willis says hearsay. Uh, Carly Morris says hearsay this morning. Hmm. Should we go with Carly? Let's go with Carly. Okay, let's go with Carly. Uh, we're going... Hearsay. Hearsay. It's hearsay. Yay, well done, Carly. Look at that. A a clean sweep. It was a clean sweep. This I, I morning. I put the league to, bit, you know, to make it sound as if I knew what that's I was where you. <laughs> that's where you... I would have gone headline. I, oh, really? I genuinely would have gone headline with that. No, because I was thinking that just wouldn't happen. No, you see, I could see that happening. If I was playing football, you know, in a, in one of the minor leagues, I'd think, mm. well, I'm not getting that much the cash. I'm a bit, a, a bit out of puff, you know, a little bit out of puff. Look that guy, he, lo he looks like he's Take all right. from me, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. It's only a matter of time, Paul. Are you here tomorrow? I am here tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, gosh, I've got a lot of making up to do. Round two on the way. Thank you to everyone that's been playing along on Facebook. We honestly couldn't do it without you. No, you're <laughs> we couldn't. You're on form today. Oh. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, thank you very much. Right, it's uh, same time, same place tomorrow. Let's get this on. Lionel Richie at Isle of Wight Radio with Paul and Hayley. 18 minutes to eight latest travel news on the way in just a few moments' time. Plus, uh, the latest news headlines with Charlotte as well.